Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn about the last form of the equation of the line, which is the standard form, which is ax plus by equals to c. Before we said slope intercept form and point slope. From slope intercept form, without no calculus, we can say what is the slope of the line and we can say what is the y-intercept of that line. From the point slope form, we can say we can find the slope and any point on that line, coordinates x1, y1, which is not the y-intercept. When it comes to standard form, from the form we cannot say direct what's the slope or any point from this uh, from the line. This form, the standard form, it is used in general to easily graph the line without looking for the slope and the y-intercept. But to find from this line the most important two points, which we said they are the x-intercept and the y-intercept of the line. So, this form, in general, it is used to easily find the x and y intercepts of the line that we can easily find the slope or graph the line if we have to do it fast. So, let's see. Graph the line that represents each linear equation. From the form given, I see x and y written both of them on the left of equals. I recognize this equation as being the standard form, or in some of the books, it's called the general form, ax plus by equals to c. We said that this form is used to easily find the x-intercepts and y-intercepts. The symbol for x-intercept x0 and the symbol for y-intercept 0, 1. And we make it as a table. So we look after these two points. From the first one, we understand that y is 0. So instead of this y, we will put 0. The equation, it will be 5x equals to negative 10. Solve for x. It will be x equals to 2. So the x-intercept, it is 2, 0. From the second point, the y-intercept, the x coordinate is 0. We will substitute in x. So this term, it will be out. And we will find y equals negative 10. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 10. So as long we have two points on the line, very easy we can draw. We draw the coordinate plane. And the two points, we'll plot them on the coordinate. So on x-axis, we have a 2 positive. Let's say it's here. And the y-intercept is negative 10. Let's say it's this one. We plotted the points, we connect them, this is our line. From here we can say that the slope is positive. So again, x and y, both of them in the left side of equals, this is the standard form, ax plus by equals to 0. So we'll find the x-intercept and the y-intercept of the line. We make the table and we substitute. First of all, we put for zero y, for y we put zero. So in this term y it will be zero, which means the term it will be out because six times zero is zero, and it will be left negative three x equals to twelve over negative three over negative three. It will be x equals to negative four, and this is the point negative four zero coordinates. From the y-intercept, x is 0, so where there it's x, we will put 0. Now this term, it will be out because negative 3 times 0 is 0, and it will be left negative 6y equals to 12. Over negative 6 on both of the sides, it will be y equals negative 2, so the point is 0, negative 2 coordinates. Now we graph. coordinate plane, the x-intercept negative 4, it's negative, so let's say it's here, negative 4. The y-intercept is negative 2, 
So let's say is here, negative 2. We connect the two points and we got our line. And in this case, the slope of the line, it is negative. Five is equals to 15 over 5. Solve for x. x equals to 3. From here, we understand that the line intersects the x-axis only. Yes? So then it will be x equals 3, let's say, is here. This is our line. And the slope, it's undefined, which means does not exist. Negative 4y equals negative 20. Solve for y over negative 4. It will be y equals to 5. So this line intersects only the y-axis in a point 5. Let's say this is 5. And the line will look like this. So it's a horizontal line. And the horizontal line has a slope of 0. Identify x and y intercepts. So without the graph. So we'll make the table as we did before. It's easier for us. It will be easier. So for y we put 0. The term it will be up. It will be left 8x equals to negative 24. Over 8. Solve for x. It will be x equals negative 3. So the x intercept is negative 3, 0. For the y intercept, we, put, we will put x equals to 0. So here for x, 0, the term it will be out, left 12y equals to negative 24. Over 12, it will be y equals to negative 2. And the y intercept has coordinate 0, negative 2. For the second one, x0, the x-intercept, 0y, the y-intercept, and in the same way exactly. The y is 0, so this term, it will be out. 10x equals to 120 over 10. x equals to 12. And the x-intercept has coordinates 12, 0. 0 for x, so this is out. 5y equals to 120 over 5, it will be x equals 24, coordinate 0, 24. Write an equation in standard form of the line that passes through the given point. So direct to write the standard form, which is ax plus by, equals to c, we cannot do it. Or we write the slope intercept form, or we write the point slope form. But if we look at these two points, both of them, they have the same x coordinate. So without too much work, we can write that the equation is x equals to 2. And this line, it's a vertical line, intersects the x-axis only. This is, let's say, this is the x-intercept 2. And the slope, it's undefined. Which of the following equations has the same graph as 2x plus 3y equals 212? If when we check the multiple choices, we see that some of this equation, the first one, for example, it is written in the slope intercept form. So then we are going to try to rewrite this equation in the slope, slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. To write this form, it means we have to solve for y. So we'll do minus 2x on both of the sides. It will be 3y equals negative 2x plus 12. And over 3, We'll get the y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 4. So let's check. Do we have it? Yes, we have it. Here it is. I'm going to check the next one. Select all that apply. So I have the first one is true. I got it. Now I'm going to try the other one. It is given 2x plus 3y equals to 12. In the second choice, 
we have x coefficient 1. So I'm going to go to term of x. Here is the coefficient 2, and I will make it 1 by divided by itself. So over 2, whatever we do for one term, we'll do it for all of them. So it will be x plus 3 over 2y equals to 6. So also this one, it is true. It's correct. I will check now the C. Easy to check the C. I'm not going to change the standard form given. I will rewrite this one in the standard form. Try to write it in standard form and see if we get the same thing. So y minus 2 equals negative 2 over 3 x minus 3. To write the standard form, we need the x and y in the left side of equals. So distribute the slope, it will be y minus 2 equals negative 2 over 3x, negative, negative, positive, 3 goes with 3, so it will be plus 2. In the given equation, we have no fraction. So then I will remove the fraction and I will do times 3. It will be 3y minus 6 equals negative 2x plus 6. Now I will call it the x and y terms, I put them together, so x move it, and this one move it, it will be 3y plus 2x equals 6, negative 6 goes on the other side plus 6, so it will be equals to 12. So also, let me check. So we have 2x plus 3y equals 12. So it will be the same. So also this one is true. I will take the, la the choice D and it is given negative 2x minus 3y equals to negative 12. In the given equation, we have an x positive. So the x Term, it is given positive 2, and here they gave us negative 2. So to make it positive, I will divide each term by negative, and it will be 2x, negative, negative, plus 3y, equals negative, negative, equals 12. And also this one, it's true. I will try the last one. It's in point slope. I will collect the x and y together and constant move it with the other constant. It will be y negative move it plus 2 over 3x equals 4 plus 2. It will be equals to 6. But we do not have fraction, so we will remove the denominator by times 3. It will be 3y plus 2x equals 6 times 3, it's 18. The left side, it's the same. But here is written equals 12, and here we got equals, uh, equals 18, so this is not true. So the first four, they are true, equivalent. What is 3 over 8x plus 2 over 3y equals to 5 in the standard form. So if I check the written in the standard form, already the equation it is in the standard form because we have the x and y, both of the terms in the left side of equals. But the problem is that the denominator, it is different. So I have to rewrite it in the standard form. So denominator, get the same denominator, which is here we'll do a times 3, and here we'll do times 8. And 4, 5, 8 times 3, we'll do a times 24. In this way, we will remove the denominator. We'll get 9x plus 2 times 8, 16y equals 120. So the correct answer is E. Thank you.